Um, <coughs> whether you guys would make it, and what are your thoughts on, on playing Clemson? Um, I had a good idea about it. I was just, you know, like, you don't really know because, I mean, it's a lot of uncertainty to it because it's not in your hands, you know. Uh, it's up to a committee to decide the best four teams. But, I mean, all along I believe that we were one of the best four teams in the country. And then who were you with and what did you do? What was your reaction when you saw the name? I was with my roommate, Tracy. Uh, you know, we were just hyped in the room together. And then we went down the hall. Great one room, everybody else came over and like just enjoying the moment. <laughs> Brett Murray, right. Austin. Tyke, when you guys uh, have been through this once before with the playoff and the month of preparation and, and bowl games, what you know, what is it like? How much can you accomplish with this much time to get ready for a game? Uh we are the best the best strength staff and I mean best coaches in America, so you know, they, they have a plan in place to get us where we need to be. I mean Lately, he's just been doing conditioning and things like that until we found out our opponent. So, I mean, the plan is already set in stone. We already, like, have a clear idea of how things are going to go. So, just got to put the work together now, play everything together. And that uh, conditioning, so how much did you guys do last week and, you know, trying to, as you waited for the <clears throat> uh, Last week, I mean, we, we did, like, a lot of conditioning. Not a lot, but we did things like moderate conditioning. I mean, just to, you know, keep our gloves on, keep moving, stay active. Uh, second row left, Bill. Mike, one, uh, did you watch any of the games last night? And then if so, and I guess Friday as well, but, like, are you watching, comparing maybe how you view your team to the other teams who were in the playoff race? Uh, I mean, I watched some of the games, but I didn't really, like, compare or anything like that. Uh, I just, you know, I was just looking at it like as a from a fan's perspective, and like just looking at different things that were going on throughout the game. And then you, um, you're from an area that's not too far from where Clemson is. I'm just wondering, wondering if you have any connections to that team, any guys you know who play for Clemson. Uh, I mean, I actually considered uh, going to Clemson uh, when I was really young. Uh, you know, a lot of all Clemson I went there a lot when I was in high school. So I mean. So I could see so I was dry. I was there almost every weekend. So. Uh, front row right here, Tim. Yeah, take one following up on that. What do you know about Clemson? What stands out about them? I'm, I imagine you crossed him a little bit last night. What just stands out about your team? Uh, I mean, I think they're a good all-around team. Uh, you know, they run the ball, they throw the ball, good on defense. I mean, that's why they're in the top four. Great team, one of the better teams in America. Deshaun Watson in particular, what just jumps out at you about him just initially? Uh, I think he has great composure. I think he's a very good quarterback. Uh, he can run on the ground, uh, throw the ball, get it in the air, so his tight ends and things like that. I mean, that's just from what I saw last night. And one other thing, you know, you're you're an older guy on this team, but you're still sort of young. <laughs> Are you surprised to be standing here, I mean, at this moment in the college football playoffs? I know. That's always the, that's the goal and stuff. But this was such a young team at the beginning of the year. What, what do you think has come right for this team over the last four months, and why do you think you guys deserve this shot? Uh, I mean, it's, we we are clearly one of the better teams in America. We work just as hard as anyone, if not work harder than everyone. Uh, this is one of the hardest places to play at because uh, everything that we go through during the all season, training camp, and like. Every week is a battle because you know everyone wants, they want to give us their best shot, and we have to step up to the plate. And I mean, this team, we, we battle through some things. Uh, we, we know what it's like to overcome challenges. So, you know, we just, now we, we're just excited to get our opportunity, and we're just going to keep pushing forward. Uh, second row, right here, Tino. Jack Juan, how much is the championship in 2014 propelling you guys right now, and how much are you using that as momentum, like as like the guideline, as the the template for success, you know, um, coming up? I, I wouldn't be able to uh, say that we use that guideline or anything because this is a whole new team. But like that team was, it was young as well, and we lost some starters the year before that. But as you can see, like that next year we came back and we put pieces together and we, we were rolling, we were clicking. Uh, we lost two quarterbacks. I mean, it just goes to show, like, this team is well invested. Like, everything we do here, like, people, they acclimate to the culture of what it is here. So that's that's just the main thing. Uh, next door, uh, Marla. Um, 
One more thing about the youth of your team. Do you remember going back to when you go to Oklahoma and you got all those young guys? Or was everybody, were they, a lot of them kind of overwhelmed or just, I mean, that was obviously a big reason you guys were picked, um, was winning there. Was there anything about that you remember just about the youth of the, the guys with you? I mean, I remember that week very, very vivid. Uh, guys came out, they practiced hard. And you just tell uh, <coughs> the young guys, they, they, were, they were ready. You know, this that was their opportunity to, like, shine and to showcase their talents. And on a big stage like that, I think Oklahoma was number three at the time or something like that. I mean, playing on stage like that, so away game, hostile environment. And uh, they none of them were nervous. You know, we had a rain delay. Everything was like, you know, like, it just looked bad. But none of them were nervous. They stayed composed, and they went out there, and they played hard. Uh, front row left there, Doug. Taekwon, do you wish that Ohio State had played in the Big Ten Championship, or are you glad to have the weekend off? Uh, yeah. I wish we would have played. It's nothing like winning, especially winning the outright championship. Uh, I mean, it, having the weekend off has its benefits. I mean, you get extra time to rest. Uh, other than that, I like winning more than resting. And having been through the playoff before, just that setup, you get the four best teams, you have to beat two great teams if you want to win the whole thing. I know it's physically taxing. I know it's tough to go through. Is it fun? Did you like it? Like that setup of this is what we have to do to prove ourselves to win this thing? What do you think of this four-team playoff having gone through it before? Uh, I think it's a great idea because that way you pick when you pick the four best teams, then no one's left out. Now you like, go head to head against the other team, the other two opponents that you have to face. And, I mean, that's how you like sort of everything out. It's just like a boxing match or something. Like, you, know, you just figure out who's best. Like Muhammad Ali, he was the best. <laughs> Is Ohio State Muhammad Ali? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and final questions over here to the right, second row, Ben. In Taekwondo, you said you were at Clemson almost every weekend, so how did you wind up in Columbus, Ohio? Only to be the best. <laughs> I mean, there's no other place like this. Uh, I, I respect Clemson, I respect everything else that goes, there, that goes on there, but coming here is different. It's a lot different here. Uh, culture, uh, what everything, like the tradition, like what everything means to me and this university like is is much deeper than that. That's why I love it here. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Tom.